Hello everybody, it's me, Ghost Critic, with um, just a little kind of announcement, let you know what's going on, because I've had a few messages, um, a few comments on videos, wondering where I am, what I'm doing, am I coming back? But I haven't really left, I've just kind of been a little bit sporadic in, um, in my YouTube output, and for those of you who know, the last kind of month and a half hasn't been easy for me to say the least um, and I'm just really trying to get back into into the whole YouTube thing I know you're all missing the Saturday show um, but honestly it's just at the moment I'm finding it hard to be motivated to to do it not that I don't want to just with everything that's gone on it's kind of left me very drained um, I went back to work last week finally and um, that, was, that was a struggle in itself but it's getting better I'm a lot better than I was hopefully I'll be putting out more videos as time goes on but I'm just asking you all really just just to bear with me um, uh, I'm gonna get better it'll get better and I'll be back to full strength hopefully sooner than later so I just thought for now um, I have been still getting some great comic book haul bargains along the way and I thought I'll show you that this week uh, rather than do a full-blown video because it's it's quick to do um, so yes I'm I'm still part of the comic book community I still support the comic book community here on YouTube to the hilt um, I hope you're all well um, still having fun reading comics um, there is just some great stuff going on out there at the moment um, so without further ado here's a comic book haul I hope I've not shown these before because I have a huge stack to get through um, and they've been on the side of my bed for quite some time well here we go okay so here we are with the comic book haul it is a very large one there are a couple of um, hauls in here there is a lot so I'll try and get through them as quickly as I can um, we begin with just like the odd stuff that I've picked up here and there Fallen Angel from DC Peter David written much underrated I felt now I think I was missing only one and it was one of the earlier ones and I saw this one and I thought is it the one I'm missing I took a chance I still don't know I haven't checked but that's Fallen Angel number four um, saw this Infinity Inc. It's a Crisis crossover, so I thought I'd um, check that out. Um, we've got a Who's Who from 1987. This is with the R's and the S's, so we've got people like Robin and Savannah and the Spectre and even Watchmen in there. Um, one of the Tops comics, Issue Zero, Jack Kirby's Secret City Saga. Got a few of those top comics um, from that series um, based on Jack Kirby creations. I'd never heard of this one before and I'm quite um, interested in all DC Vertigo titles, especially going back to like the, um, the 90s um, of which this is by Ted McKeever. It's very strange um, as you would expect from a Vertigo title. Um, saw a couple of Zero Hour Crisis in Time which I thought I'd, I'd have a go on. You know, lots of superheroes and there's issue three as well. Um, Legion of Monsters, a limited series one of four, number one, it's funny, it's got all your monsters in, your mummy, your werewolf, um, Vampire Morbius in there as well, it was funny, and, and it was kooky art in there. Um, the Monolith, um, and number one from April 2004, just thought I'd check this out, it was only 50p, so... If it was rubbish, it was rubbish, but it was okay. It was an interesting concept. See if I can find any more of those along the way. Managed to find one of those Wednesday comics back in 2009. There's some commandy goodness in there. Um, some Dead Man, Hawkman, Green Lantern. Um, so looking forward to checking that out. 
Now, I saw this in one of Scott's Custom Brom Stars when he was going through all his limited series, and I thought, let's pick it up and see how um, really silly it is. Adolescent radioactive black belt hamsters coming off the whole Teenage Mutant Ninja Hero turtle rubbish. <laughs> um, I picked up issue one and two of this a long time ago in like one of those packs for a pound um, and it was an interesting concept I saw this um, which was number three so I thought I'd pick that up as well um, image mystery incorporated very um, Kirby-esque cover there so I thought I'd give that a go um, I've got quite a few of the Omega men popping around didn't have this so added this to my collection um, then Millennium, I got, I managed to pick up week four, week five, let's just get them out of the way, and week six. So looking out for the others, um, one, two, and three to start reading those. Um, again, this is the fault of Custom Bromstar and Howler Mouse. They did a Teen Titans special on their... Um, finally designed a few months ago and got me hooked on it so issue 17 issue 18 issue 20 issue 23 all these are wolfman and perez penned and drawn issues um, issue 30 31 always liked raven um, issue 33 35, number 40, Brother Blood, great cover there, 41, jumped up a bit there to issue 67 where it just changed to the new Titans, then managed to fill up some more of my Generation X run, I think I've only got about 10 of these to go now. Um, issue 26, great fun series um, from the 90s. Um, issue 50 there, 57, issue 63. And then um, it started, they tried to make it a bit more grown up, grow these characters up um, with this counter X or X counter. Um, which ran across all the titles, making them a little bit darker. Um, the Generation X team kind of dealt with more serious issues like um, child kidnapping and the like. Um, issue 68, issue 70, 71, 73, 74, and the final issue 74. Um, managed to pick up a couple more of X Factor, um, the very first series from the um, 19, late 1990s, um, issue 22, 25, and uh, issue 101. Right, that's kind of like your oddments that I got. Now, the next batch. Uh, oh. These are all runs. Let's check. We've got that in focus. And whoops, there we go. Right, Black Orchid from DC Vertigo. I bought the first nine, eight or nine issues ages ago, thinking it was the Neil Gaiman version. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't. But still, this series from DC Vertigo is just fantastic. I love it. So when I saw these, um, I had to pick them up. So issue 10, issue 12... Issue 14, some crazy, really nicely um, presented covers. Um, issue 15 from 94 and 95. Issue 22. And then the Black Orchid Annual, um, number one, part of the Children's Crusade, which took part in, I think it was Animal Man and Swamp Thing. And I think it was Doom Patrol as well. And then they had the Children's Crusade storyline as well ongoing. So I've read this and it's a fantastic read. It's it's kind of scary, um, bit worrying, tense kind of stuff. So I'll be looking out for the rest of that series. And then I chanced upon what I'd been looking for originally. It is um, the original Neil Gaiman one I was looking for. These are those, those kind of prestige books. Um, and it is in such 
good condition uh, it is first printing book one of black orchid by neil gaiman and dave mckean for a pound i was just really excited with that so as you see it's one of those kind of prestige thick cardboard cover great was so happy to pick that up found some um kurt Busiek's astro city issue 12 and um, again that's tim the little comic book pusher that he is had to pick these up and issue 15 um, all the rest now are from the dynamite these were all 50p each which was amazing because there is nothing wrong with these there's in, on some there's a, a tiny bit of spine damage but apart from that everything else is nice and crisp there's no tears it's it was a good haul this one everything 50p so kobe genesis issue six um coming off the kobe genesis we've got the mini series captain victory issue two issue three issue four then again coming off a spin-off from the kobe genesis it's silver star issue one a variant cover for issue one Issue two, and it's variant cover. Then I'd not heard of this, but again, 50p, you don't knock it. Peter Cannon, Thunderbolt. So we've got issue one, issue two, issue three, issue four, issue five, issue six. Then Project Superpowers, um, I picked up, I think it was the Zero issue not so long ago, really enjoyed it. Um, so when I saw these for 50p, I grabbed as many as I could. So, issue two, Captain Future. Issue three, featuring Masquerade and the Mighty Samson. And it's um, a variant cover, Truth and Dare for issue three. Issue four, The Sister Scarlet. Issue five, featuring the Death Defying Devil and Black Terror. Issue seven, with Burning Eagle, Black Owl and Man Cat. And that's a variant cover for issue seven. Spin off from Project Superpowers, Meet the Bad Guys. So we've got um the i think it's the revolutionary yank or the revolutionary fighting yank but he was a bad guy anyway <laughs> and the scarab supremacy issue four uh masquerade got her own spin-off from the project superpowers title so issue one issue three issue four Flash Gordon, Zeitgeist, I got the first couple of these and um, then missed out on the rest, so I just thought I'd pick that up. Um, again, a spin-off from Flash Gordon, Merciless, The Rise of Ming, issue three. And finally, Merciless, The Rise of Ming, issue four. So I've got lots of comics to read for now. I don't think I'll be buying anything else for quite some time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.